Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Somebody emailed me a very good question. Evidently, they got they uh, got a new computer and got a new Corel, updated Corel, and they can go back and get their files. But when they do that, the uh, the fonts aren't embedded, and they Corel tries to change the fonts. So from your old computer, if I if I understand him right. Go to, you know, like uh, my computer, File Explorer. And first and foremost, fonts are not in Windows, or they're not in Corel, they're not in Excel, they're not in WordPerfect. They're in a folder under your C drive, which is your hard drive, Windows, and fonts. Now, what you can do now is hit this button right here, or you can alternate up. Put in a USB drive into a brand new one, I would suggest, because I've got a lot of fonts, and I'm just going to drag it to here. It's going to copy all those fonts that I have on the old computer. I'm not going to do this. I'm going to let it go about 15%. <clears throat> and now if we go to that USB drive, I've got a folder for fonts and it already copied that many fonts. So then just take those USB and go control, and I'm not gonna do it because I don't wanna mess mine up, but uh, control A to select them all, and then go to Windows or C drive Windows fonts and put them in there. Just drag them in there. That way your new computer and your new Corel will have all your old fonts. And he also mentioned DA Fonts is uh, such a lifesaver if you've never gone to dafonts.com. And that's his trouble. He's built such a big library. But I always uh, copy all my fonts. I have, a, I'm running uh, uh, Corel 24 here. I've got, I've still got X7 on my laser computer. And I'm constantly updating the fonts on that old computer. So I don't have to. Now, if just in a pinch, this is Arial font, let's, Let's take it to a font that probably not too many people would have. You could all, and this doesn't help him in this case because he wants to go and edit them. But if you're just going to transfer that and, and take it somewhere in engraving, you can always go to object and convert that font to a curve. And now it's not a font anymore. And Corel, regardless of the version, will open it up. I hope, I hope that was his question, and thank you for watching.